Leaders say protecting Leon County's furry friends is the reason behind a proposed ban on the sale of some pets. I'm Kendall Brandt in Tallahassee's Northwest neighborhood. Local animal advocates I spoke to tell me they've seen a rise in animals like this one needing help in recent years, and they tell me they're glad to see the county making steps to keep those animals safe and off the street. Katie Stryker says she's seen tons of cats in need of help in the last few years. I would say not just Leon County, but the South in general has a real overpopulation issue. Her and her team at the Telly Cat Cafe have adopted out more than 1,700 cats in partnership with the Leon County Humane Society. And she hopes a potential ban on the retail sale of cats, dogs, and rabbits in stores will help up that number. I love it. <laughs> there are so many, um, like I said, just worthy and wonderful animals that deserve a home. So the thought of adding to the number of animals searching doesn't make sense to me. The increasing number of pets in shelters is part of the reason for the proposal. <coughs> County leaders say the city shelter has seen an increase of 18% in dogs and 9% in cats over the last two years. Florida State Director of the Humane Society of the United States, Kate McFall, brought the idea to the commission. While it will help adoption rates, she says it will also protect pets from inhumane practices. Adult dogs who live in puppy mills, they're bred every heat cycle, they're kept in cages only six inches larger than their body. It's not a life that any anyone would want for their pet. There are not any stores in an incorporated Leon County that sell those pets. That's why McFall says the time is right. With so many animal lovers in our community and there aren't any stores in the county now is now is the time and striker encourages families looking for a new friend to stop by start at the shelter just see if one steals your heart neighbors can speak out on the proposed change at the december 10th county commission meeting in northwest tallahassee kendall brandt abc 27.